with the patient in sims position we mark the iliac crest last rib and the midline The ultrasound probe is placed on the axial plane above the level of the iliac crest with its mark oriented laterally. In this video, we scan the posterolateral abdominal wall from the medial to lateral. Just later to the midline, the transverse process of T3 is identified. The caudalis lumborum lies later to the transverse process while the erectus spinalis muscle lies superficial. At the lateral border of quadratus lumborum muscle, the posterior end of the anterior abdominal wall muscles can be identified. The external oblique and latissimus dorsi muscles lie superficial to the internal oblique. Note that the fleshy part of the transversus abdominus muscle cannot be seen at this posterior level and transversalis fascia lies directly due to the internal oblique. At the lateral border of the quadratus lumborum muscle, the extra peritoneal fat is thickened, separating the transversalis fascia from the peritone and the abdominal structures. Nerves, most probably iliunguinal iliohypogastric nerves, lie in the transversalis plane between the transversalis fascia and the internal oblique muscle. At the mid axillary line, the fleshy part of the transversus abdominus muscle starts to appear between the internal oblique and the fascia transversalis. Anteriorly, the lumbar and thoracic nerves run within the transversus abdominus plane between the internal oblique and transversus abdominus muscles.